gentlemen, at the end of 2023, I purchased and got gifted a lot of fragrances. So in this video, I will show to you my $750 fragrance haul. Let's not waste any more time and let's begin. The very first fragrance here is going to be the most expensive one and one that you might have seen on the channel at the end of 2023. And that is Zershoff Tony Iommi Funky Special. This is my very first Zershoff and I actually blind bought this fragrance i have never tried this before upon buying but i knew by looking at the notes and then other people's reactions that this would be just something up my alley this is very patchouli heavy with rum and passion fruit alongside some bulgarian rose really giving it this very deep dark density and complexity that is really amazing to get a whiff of this is juicy boozy deep dark there are so many amazing things to say about this fragrance and overall something that I really enjoy. If you want a full review of this fragrance, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to test this fragrance out. And this fragrance has made me more interested in Zershoff than I already was. Also, let me know if you've tried this fragrance and what you think about it. If you like it or you dislike it, I would love to see your opinions and thoughts down in the comment section about this fragrance as well. The second fragrance on this list is by far the rarest one here especially because it's one of the discontinued ones that i have in this haul and that is thierry mugler amen pure malt pure malt is this super unique fragrance that is oozy but in a unfamiliar way this smells kind of like beer because of the malt accord which by the name of this fragrance implies that but this is sweet slightly boozy and overall super unique there is just something about this fragrance that I really really love. The longevity seems to be between 8 to 10 hours and projection also seems to be quite decent on this. I am very very pleased to have this in my collection of the Amen line from Chevy Muglia because it is by far one of my favorite fragrance lines of all time. Let me know if you've tried this as well or if you've been on the lookout for this one because I really want to talk more about this if you're interested in that Thierry Muglia Amen Pure Malt. The third fragrance is also a discontinued and rare fragrance, but it's from Tom Ford, and that is Vert d'Encens. This is a rare fragrance nowadays because it's from the underline from the private blend called the Green Collection. This is, as the name suggests, a green incense fragrance. So this is super dark, woodsy, bossy, with a lot of incense and green nuances to it that really gives this a lot of complexity i really enjoy this fragrance i'm so happy to have this in my collection this is one of my rarest fragrances in my collection and i can't wait to wear this tom ford bear dome socks the fourth fragrance is another discontinued tom ford and that is rose de Rossi. this fragrance was released amongst the rose de chine and rose d'amalfi in the rose collection this is in my opinion a very masculine yet very type of rose fragrance. Very spicy, darker take on a fresh rose fragrance. I would dare to say that Rose de Rossi is a fragrance that you can wear all year round, especially if you want a type of rose fragrance that has some slight spicy nuances to it. I'm so happy to have yet another Tom Ford private blend fragrance in my collection. Tom Ford Rose de Rossi. The third and final Tom Ford fragrance in this haul, I promise, is Soleil de Faux. This was released in the very start of 2023 and it didn't quite catch the hype that I thought it would get. I actually don't enjoy it as much as my girlfriend does but I still think it's a nice fragrance. It's fairly unique to be honest. It is a solar gourmand fragrance. It shares some quality of some of the other Soleil fragrances but it has a slightly powdery spiciness that can remind you of some spiced cookies perhaps. This is a pleasant easy to wear inoffensive fresh 
spicy gourmand fragrance that's a lot of adjectives but that is what i perceive this fragrance as and i can't wait to wear this more often i haven't tested out the longevity and projection of this yet so again if you would like any of these fragrances to be reviewed comment down below i would love to review some of the fragrances that you might be interested in and that was tom ford soleil de four last but not least i have my christmas gift and that was the aqua di Gio gift box which included the original aqua di Gio eau de toilette the eau de parfum and the new 2023 parfum which i have just recorded a comparison of with the older aqua di Gio profumo and i really enjoyed getting this box for christmas because not only is the original aqua di Gio an amazing fragrance to wear in the gym or overall whenever you're active or it's very hot outside but aqua di Gio eau de parfum is also an amazing everyday fragrance also amazing at the gym for spring and summer as well but i mostly wanted this gift set because i really want to get my hands on aqua di Gio parfum so that was the last thing that i got in this 750 dollar fragrance haul gentlemen which one of these fragrances that i recently acquired was your favorite from this video leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions about this video and if you enjoyed it don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the men's improvement youtube channel for more videos about fragrances grooming style fashion skincare fitness watches lifestyle finances everything that will make you gentlemen the best possible versions of yourselves the last few things that i want to ask you gentlemen is to smile more because it's free and i want you to watch these two videos right here this one here below is going to be my latest upload whereas this one up here is going to be a video that the youtube algorithm thinks you will enjoy